Hello, you are welcome to my channel. If today is the first time you have visited this channel, kindly subscribe for more videos. In this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can put a Bible passage on a preaching video. How to put a Bible passage on a preaching video. We've done simple text. We have also done modified text. We have done social media handles. In this very lesson, we are going to learn how to put Bible passage on a preaching video. The Bible passages are actually in a modified format as we did for the modified test. So it is still the same procedure. So you go to titles and then you bring in your title 29. You double click on it, you go to advanced and then you change your font name to Georgia. And then you reduce your font size to maybe title 32. And then right from there, since the Bible passage should be in a modified format, you have to use the same procedure as we did for the modified test. So you go to add shape and then you choose the middle one. When it appears like this, you have to pull it at the bottom of your screen and then you pull the right hand side of the shape and then you pull the left hand side of the shape. Since it's going to be in a Bible passage manner, it has to be a little bit bigger as it has been depicted over here. And then as it has been shown, you can see this text here in it. First of all, you have to highlight it and delete it. So you highlight and then you press the delete key. And then you proceed by doing the Bible quotation itself. So as it has been shown over here, you have this very text like this. So you have to put this text in front of the shape. And as I told you the other day, so we are going, we have move to front, move forward one, move backward one, and then move to back. As I told you the other time, we use the move backward one, and then our text appeared. So in this format, you can remove what is seen, and then you type in John chapter 10, verse 30. And then you specify the Bible passage you will be using. You have to specify the Bible passage you will be using. And then you also have the alternative or the option to choose your, to change the color of your shape fill. So in this case, I would like to use the creamy shape. So as I taught you the other time, you come here and then you choose your shape. As it has been shown, my shape fill is in a creamy format. And also, you can see the text is hidden because the text is in a white format. You have to change your text fill to color black and then your text will appear like this. So this is John 10, 30. And then this is the Bible quotation itself. Now, let, let us come to the matter itself. John 10, 30 says, I and my father are one. So in this case, you have to click on add text. You click on it, another text will appear. And then you drag it to the text fill. And then you type in I and my father are one. I and my father are one. And then you pull it to the left hand side and also to the right hand side. So as, as it has been shown, you can see that your John 10 30 and then the Bible passage itself have appeared. And as it has been shown, the Bible quotation is at the left hand side of the text field. So if you want to be, if you want to make it in a centered form, you have to click it over here. That is the align center, as I taught you the other time. And then there's the Bible passage. And then this is the Bible passage itself, John 10, 30, I my father are one. So something like this, and then you are good to go. So in case you are going to use this kind of format for your preaching Bible passage, you are free to use and you are also free to go like this. My shape fill 
it's not full so i would like to pull it a bit so i can have more space for this so john 10 30 i and my father are one but your bible passage must always be in a modified format in this case you have to click on the round rectangle that is the right shape and then you choose an animation for it so in this case i would like all of us to choose the left direct insert form of animation so you double click on it and then it will take effect double click on it and then it will take effect and as i taught you for the modified test you have to use the same procedure to do it so in this case the round rectangle will appear first followed by the bible quotation itself that is john 10 30 and, and john 10 30 it, it also has to be in an animated form so you click on it you go to animation and then you, also, you choose typewriter as your animation and then you also pull this one a little bit and then with the main bible passage and then with the main bible passage you also have to give it an animation so you can choose the typewriter form of animation so as it has been shown over here all these three all these three are going to appear simultaneously and that should not be done so in this case the round rectangle must appear first, followed by the Bible quotation itself. So you have to pull this a little bit, as I taught you in the modified text. And then you pull this one too, followed by the Bible passage itself. You pull this one too, and then you also pull this one too. So in this case, the, your shape fill will appear first. Followed by a Bible quotation and then your Bible passage itself will follow. So let's play and see how it will look like. As it was depicted, your round rectangle appeared first, followed by the Bible quotation and then followed by the Bible text itself. So we are done with the modified bible passage and then it will take you back to your screen like this and let me add that there are so many forms of bible passage but since this is basic video editing i would like to teach you this for the meantime I will add other ones too as well. And our test will only appear for only 5 seconds. So as I've already taught you, you have to pull it to maybe 10 seconds. So right from there, you click on the play button and you see how it will appear. So I'm very sure you saw how it appeared. This is not all that difficult. First of all, the, your shape fill appeared followed by the bible quotation and then the bible text itself so you play it one more time to see how it appeared so this is how to put a bible passage on a preaching video there are so many forms of putting bible passages on preachings so you can advance yourself with this simple tutorial so you can explore and also do so many works on your own and as i have been teaching you all the time every project that you'll be creating of necessity you have to save that project so you so you go to file and then you go to save projects and then since i have already created my folder it will take you directly to the folder then you type in bible passage 
and then you press save and then you are good to go so this is how to put a bible passage on a pretty video it is very simple you can explore and do other ones as well thank you so much for watching see you some other time and don't forget to subscribe for more videos bye